wanted to take a couple minutes today and share with you a new uh, piece of coffee equipment that I just got. It's called the Flare. It's to make homemade espresso. It's this guy back here. You can see our coffee shelf that we just finished building, but uh, I'm gonna take this down and uh, pull some shots. Just give you my thoughts about the Flare espresso maker. All right, so got my flare down from the shelf. Just want to give you a quick overview of kind of what the flare is, what it does. So it comes in this beautiful case. So you can see this guy here. Everything's packed up really nicely inside of there. Mine's unpacked. I have extra accessories in here and that kind of stuff. Inside it gives you a little user guide. And so inside the user guide you can gives you the instructions to brew. I've done this a few times. My last video was about uh, my church. We went up and did something we do every year called the fall retreat. And so we all went up to up north to a little campground and hung out. And I actually brought the flare with me so I can make Americanos and ice lattes for everybody. I've actually put some good reps on this machine and I've been wanting to do a review about it a while. I've had it for a couple months and I just hadn't had the opportunity to put that much time into it. I feel very confident that I know how this thing works, how to get the best results out of it. And uh, I have a very complete opinion of what I think about it. Um, we'll go over that in a second. I got my uh, Baratza Sete do some grinding for me here. Um, I actually have a, I haven't tried this coffee yet. It's a brand new um, coffee from Four Barrel. It's a Kenyan. My roommate works for a local coffee shop and they serve Four Barrel, so she brought this home. So if you can see, um, so we're gonna give this a shot. And then this right here, this is the flare. This is actually my cup from uh, my buddy at Narrative Coffee, but um, this is most of the stuff that comes in the box. There's a little funnel to help you um, put the coffee inside of the portafilter. It's a cool little tamper. I think this is part of the upgraded package. Uh, I think by default it doesn't come with the tamper, but um, it comes with this little tamping pad, so I'll use that there. Um, this piece comes off, and there's actually a bunch of pieces in here, um, so I will take this apart and show you. So this is, I guess, what I would consider to be the portafilter. This is what you load coffee into. You see there's a little metal filter inside of there. You load that guy up. Um, inside of here, there's a screen, dispersion screen type thing. It goes right on top of the port filter, like so. So once you fill it up with coffee, which we will do in a minute. And then um, inside of here is the plunger. So this is essentially the piece that gets pushed down to create pressure through this, uh, through this chamber, essentially. So, Porta filter underneath, then this gets pushed down, and that's how you make your espresso. This is a this whole piece comes off to store, nice and easy. Um, just clicks in there, and yeah, that's about uh, the gist of the flare. So I'm gonna pause for a second, go get some water, weigh out my coffee, and uh, we're gonna make a shot of espresso. All right, so I got my coffee all weighed out. Uh, I found in my experience, it's best to use about 16 to 17 grams of coffee. It doesn't overfill, so the port filter space is not that big, and I've felt like it's overfilled a little bit in the past, so uh, I'm using 16 grams this time, So, and you want to grind it pretty fine, similar to how you would an espresso, maybe a little bit coarser. I think I've uh, started doing it slightly coarser just to help with the extraction process. Yeah, so let's grind this guy up here. All right, so I got my ground coffee. It smells very nice. We are going to set up here. So using the little tamping pad here, take your funnel, you put it right on top there. Pour your coffee right inside. I've had the best luck by kind of uh, trying to distribute while it's still in here. So give it a good shake and then a couple good taps. And you can take your funnel off and then uh, your cute tamper. Give that guy. I don't, I don't think it requires a lot of tamp pressure, not quite as much as like a regular port filter. I think the tamper's optional, so like I said, so uh, it can't be that big of a deal. And you put that little dispersion screen on top and then uh, right into there. And I'm gonna go grab my water, I'll be right back. Got my water up to temp. Um, I also took the, a minute to preheat the chamber, so this is, should be nice and warm. So then you put this guy right on top here Squeeze it into place. Make sure you get your cup underneath. Then there's a little line inside of the chamber, so you just fill up 
with water to that line. So just add a hot water and right at about 205 degrees. And then the little plunger, you just kind of seat it right in top. And then you start to pull your shot. And this is uh, the cool thing about this is you can pull your shot manually however you want. Um, I like to do a bit of a pre-infusion, so I'll wait till I start to see a couple drips. Then I'll let off a little bit of pressure, let it sit for a little bit, uh, and then I'll add some more pressure and get a good extraction. So uh, you'll see that in action here. So I'm getting a couple drips, and I'll let off. Uh, I use that as my signal that all the grounds are evenly wet. All right. Now adding more pressure again, and it's not about pushing through hard, you don't want to push fast, add a lot of pressure, but you just want to be light and constant with it. And uh, once I get to this stage where it starts to be about a stream, that's when I want to try to keep it on that same pressure the whole time. I wish I had a pretty little shot glass to show you, kind of the crema and all that. And there you go. There I have my shot of espresso. You can see a little bit of a crema line. It smells very good though. It's a very interesting coffee. I don't know if I would do this coffee on espresso often. It's just what I happen to have around. I enjoy it. It almost has like a, uh, a whiskey or bourbon-y taste. I don't even... I didn't even pay attention to uh, the flavor notes on the bag, but I enjoy it. I probably, uh, I would like to drink this in like a cappuccino or something, so. Anyways guys, uh, I just want to take a couple minutes to share with you my latest toy. Um, I will leave a link to Flare in the description below. Uh, they've been super great to work with. I've talked to the owners a couple times over there. Um, just about their machine, what they make, how it works. And they've actually asked me a lot of questions on feedback and, uh, and just telling them my experience taking this to a camp with 40 people using it constantly, how that process has been. Um, overall, this is the best home espresso without a boiler that I've ever used. So minus anything you plug into the wall, but of all of the different ways, whether it's a crazy contraption you add to the AeroPress or any of the other ones. Uh, this is by far my favorite. Actually, since we've got back, my wife has kind of used this nonstop to make ice lattes at home. We are beyond impressed with the Flare. Check out, learn more about the Flare, and uh, thanks for checking out my channel today. Uh, I plan to do a lot more coffee stuff. As you, could, as you saw on my shelf earlier, I actually collect a lot of coffee gear and I don't have much opportunity to talk about it on this channel, but I want to do that a little bit more and take a couple minutes here and there to share with you my favorite gadgets and uh, what I'm using to brew coffee. And lately that's been the flare. And so I hope you enjoyed this. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. See you guys again soon. Bye.